everyone, the pitch or slope of the roof is dependent upon the span length of the base of the roof and the height of the apex top of the roof above the base. Use the diagram to answer the questions that follow. So we want to know what the range of the lengths of the span of the roof could be. So here's your span right here. So this this length right in here. So we're going to use our triangle inequality theorem. We could actually make the span go here and we're going to use our triangle inequality theorem to note that um, the two sides, so you have 24 plus 32 has to be greater than this x, which is the same thing here. So uh, 50, what is that, 56 has to be greater than x, or you could say x has to be less than 56. Now we have to find this lower portion here, and what you do is you add up the sides again, and this time you're going to take the x plus the 24. So you're going to do x plus 24 has to be greater than your 32. So x has to be greater than 8. Now just note it wouldn't work if you switch these numbers because you'd get a negative number. So this is 8. So um, the range is going to be from 8 to 56. Now let's look at what the other part says. Um, as the span of the roof decreases, so... Um, let's just look at the span as um, right here. So if, if the span decreases, I'm going to look at this one, and you, it goes lower from here, then what's going to happen is the, the rise of the roof is going to get larger. So this rise up here is going to be closer to that. So that's going to be an increase. Alright, as the rise, this part gets lower. So here's your rise right here. If the rise gets lower, you still have the 24 and 32. So it's just going to spread out more because the, the rise is smaller. So that ma means that angle here is going to be bigger than this angle. So that also increases. Okay, um, the span of the roof can be 54 feet. Well, yes, because... Um, Let's use this color. Uh, 54 is in between um, 8 and 56. So that's going to be true. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.